What's up, it's your boy Remus and welcome back to The Superior Code, which is us on the journey to becoming the superior versions of ourselves as men and women. And today we're speaking about the fact that jealousy is not something to be proud of because we see people saying this, um, hey, I'm just too jealous. I'm just too jealous, like, ugh, I'm just too jealous for that. I'm too jealous for this. I'm too jealous to control my emotions. I want you to know that jealousy can be healthy as every emotion can be healthy, including fear, including um, anger, including frustration. All of these are inherent, or well, they have inherent survival potential in them. It's just how you use them and it's just how you manage them. So every single emotion has a function which helps you survive some way, somehow, but it has to be managed and understood. So jealousy in relationships is really what we're talking about. Uh, it can be healthy, but jealousy is the, let's say this, jealousy is the fear of loss of someone or something which you desire to keep or have. So when you get jealous, you need to manage it according to that principle on if you are losing out on something that you want or something that you wish to keep. So um, it's contextual, whether it's good or whether it's bad. You can be jealous in one situation and it's healthy. It makes sense. There's a logic that backs it up. You could be jealous in another way, um, but it's a bad way because it literally doesn't make sense. Like, let's say someone's at the restaurant and your man says to you, like, <clears throat> let's say the rules of your relationship that is are that it's okay for you to, um, you know, talk to the waiter to order food. And when the waiter takes your order, he goes, hey, thank you. And he goes off and, you, and the man goes... <sighs> Did, did he he smiled at you why you said that why didn't you turn your head but based on the rules and stuff of your relationship that's okay so then you would have to think hey what is the purpose of me being jealous of that person or my partner um have been smiled at by the other person and still communicating it does it go against the logic and the grounding and the foundation of this relationship and am i at a loss in some way if the answer is yes then jealousy would actually be permissible it would actually make sense if the answer is no then it's unmanaged and it doesn't make sense do you get what i'm saying but people just let it r run wild with no thought to hey does this make sense or does it not make sense so when someone says oh, i'm just too jealous you're essentially saying that you cannot talk talk to manage or handle your own emotions you're not able to have a conversation with your own body and say hey based on this this logic this emotion is not okay um or this emotion is okay that would be a healthier way actually it is okay you can feel that but me expressing it in a certain way is not okay because that doesn't make any sense so if you cannot do that you're operating the same as a child it's like when a child's in a relationship and the child um sees the another baby with a toy and it goes oh i want i want to have the toy too i want to have the toy too and it snatches the toy from the other baby because it's jealous and then you find out that he didn't even really want that toy do you get what i'm saying so i think about this stuff because um people always say you know hear it all the time i'm just too jealous for that with no control now i want you to think about this imagine if i told you or someone else told us that they're in a relationship and there is no arguments whatsoever because they manage their emotions and they talk it out imagine i said to that well, i'm just too angry for that i'm just too angry to have a com controlled conversation i'm just too angry to handle my emotions if i get angry and aggressive i have to lay it out think about that for a second if i say i'm too angry as a way to healthily live or healthily relate to my partner how is that not an insecurity or a weakness let's say that it's a weakness for me to operate like that it's not cool but you get imagine i went around saying i'm just too angry for that so when you get people saying hey i'm just too jealous for that it's the same thing you're really conducting yourself like a child and you're really showing that you're not in control of yourself 
it's not really a cool thing but people brag about it and say i'm just too jealous i'm just too jealous but you're bragging about an insecurity you're bragging about a weakness and last thing i checked last time i checked there is no weakness worth bragging about um so <clears throat> Jealousy is allowed to flourish in this society because of the fact that in monogamy, there's this belief that you own the person uh, fully, totally. You can never really truly own a person as much as you think you can. Um, and it's this idea of monogamy is enforced, of course. So people never really have to manage it because they can be jealous and they're still in a way under the direction of monogamy because it's, hey, it's supposed to be just me, just you. So if I get uncomfortable at you doing this action, I'm automatically okay expressing it even if it's a, in an unhealthy way because we're supposed to be living in this and you better not make me feel uncomfortable about this in any way. That doesn't make sense. And it, again, it's childish. So um, it's seen as normal to be like the emotion jealousy is, is seen as normal to be left world because it serves the purpose of still abiding to that monogamous um expectation that's been put onto everyone um and really subconsciously the reason why is because when you are when we all allow jealousy to happen we're kind of helping ourselves in a way because we're basically pushing uh an ideal that would help protect our, us in the end so for example as a man it would help him ensure paternity if we have this everyone's jealous type of mindset <coughs> and for a woman it would actually help her in terms of securing emotional commitment but emotional commitment and resources too and all of that stuff all the stuff that women want so if jealousy helps protect those ideals then jealousy makes sense it makes sense if there is a true threat of your paternity being unsure it makes sense if um i'm saying on a subconscious level and a level even above that it makes sense that you if you can lose your emotional commitment with a person whether you're a man or a woman actually um, then it makes sense that you would be jealous. And someone might even say, hey, you're insecure. Under that situation, you should be secure if there is a true loss. If there's actually a true loss, right? Insecurity under that setting makes sense. So sometimes we're afraid of being insecure, but sometimes it makes sense to be insecure. But people say, hey, don't be insecure. Don't be insecure. You can, you can be so secure that you end up losing... Um, that which you desire because you're trying to be all cool so again just like emotions security makes sense under a certain context but so does insecurity because if you're in an insecure position then then it makes sense because the insecurity is trying to protect you oh and that's because there's a logic to it so the minute you stray away from logic you are now not in control of your jealousy and the jealousy is in control of you. So anyway, I want to know what you think. Comment down below. Let Remus know your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.